But I was so tired the day I did this test that I just rushed it. Like I, I didn't run it through the seam properly. I was every muscle hurt. So looky there, that looks like a brick, right? I think I did it. Yeah, help me pack all this. And I didn't dig down deep enough. I've got a, uh, I've got a hole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it at that and see if I break it in half. Oh, totally failed! Totally failed! recipe it shouldn't do that all right uh, totally failed wap wow oh when I when I made that I added too much water and I recut it I'm gonna have to do this test one more time properly come out where it's my one focus right instead of one thing among many darn it all right failure <laughs> all right this is Steve a thousand year home so Let's see, I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap my um, my containers in one of three things. Either it's going to be air Crete, it's going to be styrofoam Crete, or it's going to be rammed earth. So uh, I got 30 acres of Texas soil here and it goes down towards a creek. So I don't have a lot of Edwards limestone. So I'm going to be out and we're going to go see whether or not we pass the clay test for me to be able to use rammed earth. So that's uh, anywhere between 10% and let's say 20% clay. And uh, so we're going to dig three test holes. And in each one of those buckets, we have a uh, uh, jar that we're going to drop the soil in and see what stratifies out, you know, gravel, sand, earth. And then we'll I'll have a bucket full of dirt and we'll make some test blocks. So uh, off we go into the into the uh, area. And I'm, I'm going to dig where I believe that I can put stock pot. So I'm, I'm looking for where the water runs down and, and I'll dig that out for the, for the house. So let me go, so I'll go ahead and I'll wrap that and ram dirt. So the rebar, since I don't have rebar, will be the container itself. And then I'll use stainless steel fasteners through it and I'll connect that uh, periodically to the wall as I go up. And underneath will be all of my uh, plumbing and electrical. So it'll be fully serviceable. So I believe I can get a thousand year house out of this thing. So let's go to the first test pit and see what we find. So I'm doing test pit number one. So I'll turn the camera around here so I can get oriented. So there's a little arroyo that comes up in here, tumbles along. I'm going to dig right there where the, the deer have been digging and I'm going to dig down a get the topsoil off first and then dig down. So in here, you know, I might clear that cedar or leave that cedar, but uh, you know, I could put a stock pond here. There's exactly one of these just over there. So one or two places. So, but let me go ahead and get some test dirt. All right, so I, I dug the first test pit and uh, to me, it came out of the ground pretty dry, but I ain't. That looks like it's exactly what you need for decent uh, rammed earth. Pretty color too. So that's the southeast corner. And if that would work out, I would build a stock pond back here as well. So now we'll go do the other two sites. So, you know, this soil feels exactly like that soil over there. I think it's just going to be 30 acres of the same stuff. Rid of the top soil. I should have brought out that auger, but I'm too busy to tired. To... You know to do all that. But right off the reel. That's that's might be more sandy. Feels like that's packed. I built a little uh, brick maker out of um, 
out of uh, fake deck wood. So I go ahead, they're equal portions. So we're gonna add 10, 10 things of soil and one thing of concrete. So it'll be 10% concrete in there and then we'll tamp them in and let them sit and see what our bricks look like. And uh, so I'll know in a few days what our, if I can make bricks here with this soil. Okay, I've mixed the uh, dirt. I've, it's all rough cut, so uh, our 90% using glass jars, and then I decided to mix the two together, the southeast corner and the southwest corner, uh, because I added smidgen too much water. So uh, it's all estimated, but uh, you think I'm close to the 90%? So 90% dirt, 10% soil mixed up. Now this wasn't run through a sieve. I, I did have a little, little cage here that I ran it through and <clears throat> separated out some of the big stuff, but uh, it wasn't as fine as I would like. But anyway, what we're gonna do now is we'll make a couple of bricks and we'll let them sit and we'll see how that will work. All right, so I'm doing a wrap up video. So we're just gonna let these sit here and and think so we filled it up to about there ish and there ish so we're looking to see how much clay and sand and uh, I don't know there's a lot of clay in there so I might need to buy some sand so uh, that was about 30 minutes waiting there and then uh, there's gonna be a big storm this week so we're putting everything up and there's our brick that we made so uh, it was, uh, everything was rough, right? So, uh, didn't screed the soil, didn't dry the soil. Um, we guesstimated at the 90, uh, 90% earth, 10% uh, concrete. I just want to see if this thing forms up. Uh, because I'm not too concerned because underneath that tarp is a massive cement mixer that goes on the back end of my uh, tractor. And so I'll, uh, I'll uh, cover that. So. The recipe, once we figure out the recipe, will be in shovels. So, you know, if it's two shovels sand, three shovels earth, you know, 10% uh, concrete, then I can break that down. So that's a 12 cubic yard mixer underneath there. So I'll, I'll do the math by 12 cubic yard, and then I'll build the forms. I'll build the forms from 12 cubic yards. So everything will be fine. And then around the edge of this perimeter uh, will be, um, rammed earth or air creed or star foam depending on what what the mass says and uh there'll be foam board along the sides of it and then i'll just do rammed earth and one side of it will be my form and inside of the building i'll use uh, uh floor posts like you would use for foundation work with boards to form that up while i tamp the earth so the imperfections on the outside won't bother me at all because you won't even see those when i'm done it'll It'll just be your classical uh, Adobe uh, Santa Fe Mission style. And if it has a little wave, that's that's the way they're made anyway. So uh, that'll be good. Oh, I couldn't be tired. Or... We guessed at the volume amounts. But uh, it actually ended up being a, a good test. I, I don't know if you can see it, but right there's the sand and gravel layer. Right there's the gonna call it silt all right there's the clay so that to me looks like a 25% clay rate I'm gonna guess right there's the clay there's the sand I'm gonna call that silt all right so now I made a brick the worst of all bricks just patted it together uh, it was too wet uh, not enough uh, concrete it's been sitting about a week Let's give that a, a whirl and see how that works. So there's my brick. I don't know, we'll see. It wasn't built the best in the world. So I can see there's a little bit of cracks in it, but my idea is to use it and put it underneath the floor jack and see if I can jack up one of these containers. That'll be a test, right? Yep. And if it, if it survives jacking up a container. So I didn't, uh, I didn't grease these forms, it's the plastic from the, uh, from those deck things is what it is. Deck board. All right, let's see. Get them off? Nope. 
then if this works, you can get the die right there. So you can see where I didn't mix the clay right, right? So it needed to go through a sieve. See those spots? Mm -hmm. They're not okay. But the rest of it, eh, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to order some sand. That's what I think I'm going to have to do. So I'll order some sand and it'll be like an extra shovel full of sand, 10% concrete, and the rest of it will be earth. I'm pretty excited. I think this will work. I thought this was all clay, but you see that there's actually strata. There's a clay layer on top. And you see there's, uh, I'm going to call that silt, and there's the sand and gravel. So it's not all clay. There might be a 25% clay rate, and that's just right at the top of where you'd want to be to make your own bricks, right? But I was so tired the day I did this test that I just rushed it. Like I, I didn't run it through the seed properly. I was, every muscle hurt. So looky there, that looks like a brick, right? I think I did it. Yeah, help me pack all this. And I didn't dig down deep enough. I've got a, uh, got a hole I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it at that see if I break it in half oh totally failed totally failed absolutely that is a sad bit of business I'm gonna have to work on the recipe it shouldn't do that all right uh, totally failed Wap wow. Oh, when I when I made that, I added too much water and I recut it. I'm gonna have to do this test one more time properly. Come out where it's my one focus, right? Instead of one thing among many. Darn it! All right, failure. <laughs>